All right, guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another episode of No One Survived. Now, before we start today, one thing I wanted to talk about was in the comments, people kept bringing up the name of the game. If no one survived, then who the hell are we? I don't know, chat. All right, listen, I just play this game, okay? I just, I, I, I work here. I'm here like everybody else. I don't know, all right? Y'all getting so deep and philosophical in the comments. I can't even keep up. All right? I don't know. I don't know why. Or who we are. But welcome back, guys. Last episode we went, we ran through this area. We got some looting done. Um, backpacks pretty full. We're going to get this crap back to base. And um, I really need to figure out how to get a damn car today, guys. Like, we need, it. we need to figure out how to get a car. Okay, so our... Carbohydrates are quite low. I'm actually going to pop this uh, rich can of something. All right. So, yeah, we got to head back to base. I do have pants on, guys. They just, they're just kind of the shorts. <clears throat> they're definitely shorts. I have not found any guns on this playthrough so far. Last episode, or the last playthrough that we started, um, man, we had, like, tons of guns, like, within the first few minutes of playing. We went to that one area. Now, granted, I haven't hit, like, any cities with gun stores yet, so I'm pretty sure if I did do that, I probably would have guns. <laughs> Anthony said, I got a car, and the deer wrecked it, <laughs> so be careful. <laughs> no, I don't have a car. Yeah, that's my goal today. We're going to try to get a car up and running. Uh, we're going to see if we can go trade for a repair kit. And then we got to figure out some fuel. we got to get some damn shoes, too. All right, so we're, we're, we're over here venturing back to my base. Uh, it's not too far. Now, I got two traders here. We got one in D6, one in D5. I was going to go scope out both of them and see um, what they have for sale because there are two traders right near my base. So it'd be cool. I think we did have a gun trader nearby. Um, so we could te technically get guns from there, but... There's my base. In the distance. No, did someone steal my shoes? No, no, I would I have to have shoes for someone to steal them. We just we just haven't even found any yet. Now we're just, you know, walking through the good old nature, toes in the sand or in the dirt, or whatever the hell you want to call this stuff. I got plenty of storage. Um we were able to get some boxes and stuff like that crafted up. Let's see. Um, yeah, this was my food. So we'll go ahead and get our food dropped. Now, I thought I grabbed more food than that while we were out, but I was really wrong. Yeah, so I can't use that book yet. Um, this was crafting supplies. Um, and then this was all just like random crap. So ammo wise, we're doing okay, guys. Uh, you know, we got 30 rounds of 7.62.11 there, 9, 9, but I have no guns to shoot it with, so doesn't really matter. Uh, we got one arrow. Drop that in there, that in there, and that. Extra flashlight, zombie venom, rotten food. Okay. Just want to make sure we had that set. I was I'm pretty sure I did do it, but okay. So let me go ahead and see. Now I believe I checked this 
merchant. I don't know. Let's go check with this merchant here. We're going to go see what they have. Um, I'll also grab some stuff to see if, if we can barter with them. Uh, just some extra crap. I think I have a flashlight on. Yeah, so these are both extra flashlights. Um, so we'll grab those. Um, sell this. Sell this mood book. Now this one teaches or allows me to craft a sewing machine. Yeah, we got a lot of these flashlights, man. I don't know if I'll need this condenser for something, so I don't want to get rid of it. Mm. Keep these toolboxes. I'll sell the sniper stock. Sell this compensator. Yeah, we don't really have a whole lot in the uh, in the gear front right now. This meat's already about to go bad, dude. What? Well, that sucks. All right, let's go see what this trader has, um, and then we'll go from there. Yeah, my water is getting quite low. Once we get a car, though, guys, we'll, we'll be good. We'll be able to make nice, long loot runs. Um, we'll be able to loot up more than, obviously, what I can just carry on my back. We'll be in good shape. Um, so, Anthony, uh, from what I was told, people said that you can't loot vehicle repair kits. That you have to get them from a trader or craft them yourself. Crystal won a pack on Crane's giveaway? Oh, shit. There it is. Does she know about it? If not, I got, I'll let her know. I'm going to grab a couple extra sticks because we're going to have to make some more spears. Um... Once we go into town, definitely going to need some extra spears. Guru, how you doing, brother? I appreciate you popping in, man. I hope you have a good day. I hope the weather's all right for you down under. It might be a car in a military base. Yo, screw that place, man. I I'm not going in there until we got guns and all the bullets. Big ass boar over there we could hunt too. We're doing alright on meat right now. Um, the stuff seems like it spoils pretty quick. And uh, you get quite a bit of it from when, when you kill uh, kill the animals, so sunny 80 degrees. Now I always forget how you know how the planet's set up. Cause uh, I forgot it was it was wicked weird. Uh, it was like February for me, and somebody was talking about how it was summer from them for them, and I was like, bro, what the fuck you mean it's summer, dude? It's goddamn February, you know. And obviously, you know, the other hemispheres and shit like that, Earth is tilted in a different direction. I was like, oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs> uh, northern hemisphere, a uh, northern hemisphere winter is uh, the southern, the south uh, summer or whatever. But shit, in Australia, do y'all even really get winter like that? Fucking winter for you is what? 67, 50 degrees? Alright, let's see. So, 
Ooh, pizzeria. This guy's selling. What do you got for sale, dude? Okay, so this guy's got a little bit of food. Uh, fishing rod. Oh, guys, there's fishing. I asked if there was fishing, and, and I swear people said no. He even, got, he even has some ammo. Car repair kit. There it is. So we need to we need to see how much that plus the fishing rod is. Let's see if I can. Okay. Okay, he's liking these flashlights. Okay, he's not liking three of them though. Okay, there we go. We, that's a that's a trade. Boom. So we got the car repair kit from him. All right, and we got this fishing rod. Let's see. Let's see what else. Let's see what else we can scam out of this guy. I'm not scamming him, Chad. He knows. He knows what he's doing. He's a grown ass man. All right. He's. This is choice. A full meal, carbs. Yeah, let's grab that too, dude. All right, let's sell him this flashlight. Look at one flashlight, dude. Give me that. I didn't know these flashlights were so valuable, dude. I didn't know, Chet. All right, let me see. Um, let's do some more bartering. Let's get uh, let's get this nine mil and this five five six and the shoddy. Damn, ammo is no joke expensive. What the hell? All right, so what we're gonna sell them is let's throw this battery on there. That that's thick. Throw this on there. Oh yes, and the okay, that, that's not it. Oh, this mood book. Come on, dude, you're a fucking asshole. Okay, so maybe we'll take off uh, take off the five five six, and uh, we'll grab a battery. Yeah, two batteries. First aid kit. Uh, he didn't like that. Oh, I throw some gun oil in there. Nope. We'll take the first aid kit off. We'll roll with this. It's it's good enough. I'll take it. All right. So let me see if I like to redeem kill rewards. So. As you guys can see, I, I got a bunch of these little zombie teeth. Um, that Oh, wow, dude. We can afford a good gun. We got 30 teeth. The handgun here is only 20, guys. Damn, I wonder if I have more teeth at home. I don't I don't remember chat. I don't remember if I emptied out my inventory completely. Damn, this is about to spoil on me, man. I'm gonna eat this food real quick. I know how to fish. What do you mean? Ah boo sticky, what's going on? How you doing? So, uh, Andrew, when I when I was stationed in Okinawa, Japan, um, I pretty much we pretty much lived on the equator. So, um, it it wasn't too bad because it was semi tropical. It was pretty tropical there, but yeah, there was summer and then not summer. That that was <laughs> that was the that was the seasons. And just, yeah, a lot of rain. A lot of rain. So, we got a vehicle repair kit. Um, we got... A fishing pole. Now we just gotta get some gas, guys. We, we did find that pickup truck, and then, uh... I don't know what happened to it, but... It is what it is. Hey, Goo, you have a good rest of your day, brother, alright? Winter is about 55, bro. That is not winter time, man. We get 55, 60 in the spring. <laughs> <laughs> Let 
Listen, Brandon, my boat was a legit boat, man. I don't want to hear it. We even went and we looked at the, the ad, all right, on the website of the boat that I bought. And it said boat, so there it is. Um, I was going to buy a gun, guys, but before I do that, I want to go make sure I have all my teeth. Or I have, I want to go see if I have any extra teeth. Because if I can get a better gun, I won't, I won't get the Glock to start with. I'll get a, you know, something bigger. But we're going to go back to base. We're going to drop off this gear. I'm going to keep the repair kit on me, though, because we're going to be hunting for a car. We're going to have to find gas. Um... And, and, and a car, so I'm thinking maybe we could hit this town to the north here. Uh, see if we can potentially get a car up in there. But damn, I didn't know that the zombie teeth would get us guns like that, dude. I thought we would need a lot more. Okay, we're running low on water again. Bring the zombie venom. Uh, I don't. Didn't the AK only cost teeth? I don't even know if I want the AK though. Realistically, I gotta. I gotta get whatever gun I have the most bullets for. Jonathan, what's going on? Yo, if you're talking about the third island on GTA, yeah, we just got to the third island, dude. I was so happy. All right, let's see. So this, yeah, this bottle's empty now too. Those are full of dirty water. Got another can of food there. So I got half a bottle of water left yet. We're, we're really winning right now. Okay, um, so ammo wise We do got a bit of nine millimeter. Yep. See I had ten more teeth, but I, I think I needed 45 for the uh Damn it I'll keep the batteries on me too. I think I needed 45 for the AK Was it me that bird just sound like it was chirping happy birthday to you It was like dan 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 I swear I heard that. All right. So we do got to bring a little bit of food with us, though, for carbs. Um, yeah, we'll bring the canned dog food. We're going to probably have to start drinking dirty water, man, but... Got to do what you got to do to stay alive. All right, so we got 41 teeth. Uh, I'm going to grab the 9. I think we're going to end up buying the 9 millimeter for now, guys. Um, I do got a lot of 7.6. I got, I, got I got 30 runs of 7.62, guys. We'll see. We'll see which one we can afford. Um, if we can afford the AK, I'll buy the AK. If not, then uh, we'll just end up getting the... Uh, the 9mm. Yeah, I mean, any gun is definitely better than no gun at this point. But the gun is going to be mainly for, like, emergencies. Because I, I don't have a whole lot of ammo right now. I got pants on. Look. I got pants on. Should have ate that full meal, but. Oh, I have food poisoning, dude. How do how the fuck did that happen? Oh, I wonder if you if you eat low quality food, because my meat was damn near spoiled. Um I'm, I'm worried that eating that gave us food poisoning. And I don't know how long you have food poisoning for, too. That shit sucks, man. Oh, Crane, dude. Man, thank you so much for the super chat, brother. 
Of course, man. Of course, it's always a good time, dude. I had a great time, man, in the stream, dude. <laughs> the double thigh shred. And 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 you know, not 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 that I'm happy that you suffered. You know what I mean? Um, because you know, I don't I don't want you suffering. But it it, ma it made me feel less lonely that I was you know now I feel like I'm not at least I'm not suffering by myself. <laughs> I'm not suffering by myself. Yeah, I should craft up some freaking arrows. I didn't even realize I, I had one arrow on me and I stored it. You know that that's how you get through so many things in the military, dude. Like when you're going through like schools or you're on ruck marches or you know terrible freaking uh patrols in afghanistan and shit the one thing that got you gets you through is you know if you look to your left and your right like all the guys that are with you they're just they're all going through it too so it's like it, it feels so much better when it's not just you i don't know when you're sharing the suck with everybody else it just it, it makes it bearable but when you're sucking by yourself dude oh yeah shit's it's, it's the worst ever dude can't stand it should have uh you should have made arrows back at base where I could have bolt crafted. The fuck is that? Oh shit, is that a bear? Yo, that's a bear, dude. <laughs> I don't want that smoke. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 we're gonna we're gonna try to find a cooking pot. Like I said, the main goal right now is we're trying to get a vehicle operational. That way we can uh, we can stop walking everywhere. I really hope I can afford that AK. There's the trader. shredding no cards no that that's that's cranes thing man i i offered last night was the only stipulation if i if i got one of the big three while we were opening on those packs last night because it would have been such a godsend of luck i was like i, I would but not that it, that ship has sailed all right that ship has sailed we didn't we didn't get blessed Does anybody in chat know how long the um, the food poisoning lasts? Does it last until you eat the, the medicine? George, what's up, brother? How you doing, man? All right, let's see. So let's go here. Barter. All right, he didn't have anything. All right, so let me see. I uh, want to redeem kill rewards. So the pistol is 20, the AK is 45. God damn it. Short four teeth, guys. Trade night was great, Cassandra. Yeah, it was a really, really good time. It, it, it was a really, really good time. Um, I actually got a bunch of stuff I needed for my one five five my one five one master set. It, it, it worked out pretty good, guys. It was it was a good night. Uh, now, chat. The only thing I'm thinking I could get this MP40, but I don't know what caliber of ammo it uses. I'm thinking should we just settle for the handgun, right? Or should I push into push into this area here and just kill four zombies? You know what I mean? And just get the teeth. We got a farm right there that we can go check. Check. I, 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 I we're gonna, we're just gonna push into the farm. I'm gonna make some arrows right now. Craft up these arrows. Oh, crane! It's so tough, man. Like, I, like I said, I, I bought one box, dude, and 
I didn't I didn't truly understand what I was getting, so I got excited and thought that it was and then yeah, as soon as I started opening the other boxes, I was just like, nope, this ain't it. Uh, you got a shiny Charizard. It's full. Well, well, if it's folded, no, no, no. Yeah. The, um, the only cards that you're gonna see, they're gonna be worth a ton of money. Um, they gotta be mint. Yeah, they gotta be cards from the '90s that are in perfect condition. Those are the ones that are worth ridiculous amounts of money. Oh yeah, first edition Charizard is is definitely worth a lot of money, man. All right, there we go. So we got a handful of arrows. All right, let's do this, guys. So we're going to push into this farm here. I'll clear out a couple zombies. My stamina is absolute crap right now because we got food poisoning. But because I already have food poisoning, that means I don't have to worry about getting more food poisoning by drinking dirty water, right? Nah, yeah, George, those are, those are legit, man. Yeah, that's a legit card. If you find it, let me get it, dude. Let me get it. I'll, I'll take that burden off your hands, man. I'm not even going to sell it either. I'm going I'm to keep it, dude. <laughs> Maybe we could strike a deal. I'll, I'll buy it off you. Okay, so I don't see any zombies. Oh, there we go. Is that a special infected? Or somebody wearing a safety vest? Can't tell. Cop zombie over there. Right, here we go. Sure, and it can be worth a lot of money if it's at like a PSA 10 and if it's a shadow I think if it's a shadow list um, It has to be a shadow list first edition at a PSA 10 to be worth like crazy crazy money George with the gifted brother That's what I'm saying George if, if you can find it we can work something out man, you know I got I got a budget dude But I might be able, I might be able to squeeze like 50 Okay, so stop swindling your viewers for the chart. Man, listen, it's a good deal. It's a once in a lifetime. Wait, did I grab teeth out of that other one? No, I didn't. Oh, but George, thank you again for the gifted brother. I appreciate it, man. No, damn. I can despawned. It's all good. There it is. 
Right. So two more teeth and we're set. I can go get the AK. Uh, so, so Yu-Gi-Oh cards, I mean, some of the uh, OG ones, like first edition, like, you know, cards, mint, are they're worth an all right amount of money, but they're, yeah, they're nothing like Pokemon cards, um, like at all. One of the card sets that I was thinking about checking out was the uh, Dragon Ball Z cards. Oh man, some the artwork on the new, oh, they look so cool, guys. Uh, Crane was showing me some yesterday at the card shop. Uh, when he was showing me on the phone, like the Ultra Instinct Goku. It's like this gold Ultra Instinct Goku card. That shit looks so fire. I was like, oh my god, it looks so fire. But um, uh, and it's like an eighteen hundred dollar card. Yeah, it's literally one thousand eight hundred dollars. And. Boop. Okay, so this is it. This is what we needed. There it is. Uh, so we didn't get teeth from that one. There it is. Okay, so we got 45, 46. Okay. All right, so let's head back up to the trader real quick. We'll get the uh, AK. And uh, now we're going to go scout the town. Uh, should I go back to base and mass craft some arrows, guys? I feel like I'm going to regret it if I don't. I mean, we're out and about. I could just craft some out here. It just takes way longer. But I think the time it would take me to walk back to my base, collect supplies, then mass craft arrows, it would take probably even more time. So I guess we could just craft while we're out here. I don't know. Let's think about it. I'm going to grab resources on my way back to the trader, though. Ah, uh, Death Eye, what's going on? How you doing? I don't know. How many sticks do I have? Three. Yeah, so we need more sticks. I got a good bit of rocks. I could chop down trees for sticks. If I would have brought my basic tools, man, this would have been a lot easier to farm up to. Uh, we could craft uh, a pickaxe, actually, while we're out here right now. Yeah, let's craft up a pickaxe real quick. I'm like, what the hell am I doing with my life, dude? Chasing the Beast Gohan rare from DBZ? There it is. Oh, I forgot these. Um, the pickaxe is a full-sized weapon, so it takes up one of your main slots. <laughs> Bunch of stone there. So we just gotta get a bunch of sticks. Then we're gonna manually craft a bunch of arrows. I feel like we'll be golden. We're 
We're starting to get kind of exhausted too. We should be all right for right now. So let me craft up some arrows real quick. And then I gotta eat carbo, uh, we need carbs bad. I didn't have the stuff to make a rain catcher yet. I haven't even uh, figured that. I mean, we live right next to a river, so water collection wasn't a big deal. I don't know if when you collect rain, if the rain is considered a clean water source. Um, if it is, obviously that would be ideal. But as of right now, we don't have we don't we don't have the ability to build a rain collector. I'll check what it takes though. Oh, Raymond, I'm glad you're enjoying the content, man. All right, George. Hey, man, you have a great night, dude. I appreciate you popping in, of course, dude. Second best transformation in DBZ ever. First, obviously, Gohan versus... Oh, yeah, easily. I think Goku going Super Saiyan 3 would have been pretty dope, too, but... Um, they drew it out way too long. Like, it was like three episodes of him fucking sucking up clouds and charging up and screaming. It was literally like, I swear to three episodes long, dude. <laughs> that shit was way too drug out. Leoric Semperfly, brother. It's good to see you. Is this game worth buying? Man, I'm having a ton of fun with it, man. Honestly, I, I really am. And I feel like as soon, when, once I get into, like, actually, you know, having things set up and have a little bit of efficiency, I think it'll be really, really nice. We got a ton of arrows now, too, so we're, we're, we're doing good. Few more. So I ended up with a good bit of arrows, guys. We're freaking stacked. How do I turn my light on? That's the question. There it is, T. I knew there was a button for it. That's so weird. 
You can't see the rain, but then as soon as I hit this, it lights up the drops. Okay, so we're going to head into town here a little bit. Um, better off heading towards this intersection. But yeah, Gohan uh, was a great transformation. That, that shit was really fire. Uh, I really liked... Um, what was it? Uh, Majin Vegeta. Majin Vegeta, I thought that was dope as hell too when he went Majin. I mean, I, Majin Vegeta, I, everything about him was a goat. Like, that shit was my favorite, dude. <laughs> Nicola, thank you so much for the super chat. Um, how are we doing today, guys? Uh, here's one code for Resident Evil 7 Biohazard for Steam. Yo, over here, dropping the love in the chat for people. That is so dope. Oh, I did forget my AK. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, so. I'm in a rush to get into town. I forgot the AK. I, no, I didn't buy the gun yet. No. I probably should craft another freaking bow and arrow, too, man. This one's... This one ain't it. I'd like to use my light, man, but this is... I feel like I can see better without it. Can use it to spot sticks there with those. AK-47. I'm gonna get this loaded up. There it is, guys. There it is. I love you, baby. Let me go ahead. I gotta get another... Uh, I'm gonna craft another bow, too, just to... This silver ore, yeah, we don't need that right now. Go ahead, we'll craft my stone axe. Now nah, we're good on food. My 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 carbohydrates are low, guys. My carbohydrates are low. My water's low. We got to keep it moving. Um. But no, no, we're good. We're good. <laughs> Yeah, the, the the food icon on the top that that that's because I have food poisoning, not because we're hungry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Our guy is sick. All right, there we go. So now we got an extra bow. Um, I think one of the pieces of meat that I had was the freshness on it was so far down that when I ate it, it made me sick. So, it is what it is. Have I thought about playing DBZ Kakra? Of course, we've talked about it a couple times. Um, I would love to, guys. Dragon Ball Z is one of my favorite anime series of all time. And um, I haven't played a DBZ game since like Budokai 3 or something like that. So I would love to play that on the channel. I just don't know how it's gonna perform, you know what I mean? I, I've, I've asked around like what pe if people would be willing to watch it. Cause it's a fighting game. I guess if you're, even if you're not into DBZ, it's still a cool fighting game. Um, but I guess like my thing is like I, I want it to do well so I can keep playing it and I'm just scared it's not going to do well so I, I, I keep like putting it off but it's one of those things I mean I should probably just play it see what happens even if the, even if the channel doesn't do well with it like maybe it's something I could just play and make it a videos on my own time or something. We should play uh, the 50 Cent Bulletproof. Yeah, hey, listen, I actually loved that game when I was younger. Uh, the only problem is there's a lot of copyright music in that game. Like, the whole damn game is just copyright music. Um, so I think it would be pretty lame to play it without the music. Because I feel like the music actually made that game a lot better. You know what I mean? Um, so I feel playing it without the music would be so lame. Okay, so we gotta drink some water here. Okay, so we're no longer thirsty. Carbohydrates are still quite low. Um, it wasn't storming and this flashlight raindrops weren't so aggravating. We would push in to the woods, maybe see if I can find some mushrooms. Yeah, I mean, I, the way I looked at it is I already had food poisoning. Like, you know, how much worse could it get? Oh, shit. That zombie actually didn't see me somehow. the canned food doubles the output uh, let's keep it moving so we're gonna push across this bridge here and then we'll work our way up into town we're looking for a car um, we're quite tired actually thought about throwing a bed down in the woods somewhere and trying to grab a nap real quick Intersection seems clear.
there is uh, medicine to help with the food poison, and so we're definitely going to be on the, the lookout for that. Get the douchebag, dude. Good thing this area's got nothing around, so we don't got to sweat it. We'll search these uh, these cars, see if we can find anything in the trunks that we could eat and drink. And then I think I'm going to go off into the woods, try to grab a nap before pushing into town. And these flashlights are actually worth a bit at the trader. Mm, got a car battery. I don't know how necessary those are, what you need them for. Another shoulder light. Uh, looks like we got a gas station over here. Nice. So the, those gas stations should have a little bit of water and stuff for us. Shit, dude, we were getting shredded, man. Am I bleeding? Okay, I don't think I'm bleeding. Jesus, man. Yo, looting the fucking cars ain't even worth it, dude. Those alarms are brutal. Let's keep it moving down here. I'm not even gonna mess around with the damn car alarms right now. That's the last thing I need. Yeah, my, my, we definitely need to rest for sure. That's what, but I want to, if I rest now without anything to eat or drink, when I wake up, we're going to be in a lot of trouble. So that's why I was trying to see if we can grab a little bit of food and drink before we uh, go to bed. There we go. Let's go over here into the 
to the trees. Um, oh crap, I need a hammer actually to build the bed. That's easy. Yeah, we got some decent stuff here that we could probably use as carbs uh, to get our carbs up right now. Um, like this this canned vegetable. Uh, we're going to get that going. I don't know if I have enough to... Yeah, we're, we'll do up a fire and everything. We'll, we'll do the whole, make a little, little campsite here. Okay, so... Do a bed. Okay, and then I want to do campfire. Okay, so we need stones for that, plant fibers for that. Thank you so much for the one month. I appreciate it. Ah, how you doing? It's good to see you. Okay, bed's built. Fire's built. Um, put some sticks on there. Get get that going. Throw the can on that. Can corn on there. Okay, so I got that gave us a good bit of carbs. Right, let's grab some sleep. Uh, what time is it? Two fifty-five. So we'll sleep for four. We'll sleep for five hours. Okay. So I should loot the gasoline out of this gas station. We're definitely going to need it. I'm going to drop that right now because we're going to need space in our inventory. Army, thank you, thank you, thank you so much, Army Gal, for the gifted. Whoever receives that, welcome to the fam. No gas. Want something? Give me something. There it is. Fuel barrel. I don't know if that has fuel in it, but okay. Ooh, we got a little doctor's office right there, a little hospital. Might be able to sneak in there and see if we could get ourselves uh, some medicine for our stomach. Oh, shit. 
Okay. Look at that. Cans of food in the freaking trash. That makes all the sense, dude. Okay, we got a dog over there. Tons of infected. This fucking sucks. Got a spitter zombie there. Okay, spitter's coming. All these zombies are coming. Dog's fucking coming. Oh, shit. Stressing me out, dude. Oh, I'm out of arrows. Of course, I am. to get another spear going a few more spears i'm not gonna because we blew through all those arrows in that one engagement hopefully this is fucking worth it man Yeah, my stamina's hurting because we got food poisoning. All right. Extra battery. Oh, somebody commented on my first episode of this uh, of this game, but we did our first uh, stream of it ever. And uh, as you guys know, I I never played this game. It's my first time, you know. And somebody somebody commented, they're like, I don't know why people watch this guy. He's not even good at the game. And I was just like, dude, I ask myself that every fucking day, dude. Every day. I didn't respond yet because I was gonna. Uh, I was. I was gonna be like, dude. I like. I, uh, he should probably make a YouTube channel like that. That commenter and show us all how it's done. You know how how you can jump on a game for the first time ever in your life and just be a pro at it. That's that's the YouTube channel I want to watch. No, no, you guys don't have to. Rep no, no, I, I, no. It, it was just, I thought it was funny when he said it. Cause sometimes people say stuff like that and I'm like, doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Oh. 
we're good. Alright, so really, really hoping that we can nail some uh, belly meds. Uh, adrenaline. I think that gives us like infinite stamina. Metallurgy. Oh, that's a sounds like a good book. No, no adrenaline. I'm actually going to pop this adrenaline. Yeah, see how much st yo, the adrenaline maxes out your freaking stamina, dude. Okay, so we're looking for a car here, guy. Jesus Christ, there's so many zombies, dude. Stay on the car so far. So far, no luck, guys, in anything that looks like a working car. Was there one? Oh, wait, there was a car over in the starting area, right? Where next to the motel, I initially stored tr stuff in the trunk of it, right? We could hike back there, guys. We know for a fact that there's a car there instead of aimlessly running around the city. Oh, Patrick, with the 12 months, one year, man. Uh, you're a good man and fun to watch. Keep it up. I appreciate that, Patrick. And laid back with the nine months. Uh, the games are just an excuse to hang out with. I appreciate that, brother. Uh... Uh, Brian Hollow Outer Middle Show and yo know, Robert, that's some that's some pretty big company that you have me uh, in league with there, man. Those those dudes are all great. And uh, Ben, holy shit, dude! Huge super chat, man. Uh, thanks for the great content. Keep it, I I really appreciate that, man. I'm glad you're enjoying it. I think we we need to do guys. Oh, that's so far. But the thing is, is we could go down. We can cut across C6, the front part of D6, and then come down like that. I don't know. Or we could just keep aimlessly running. I'm, I don't know. Maybe there is a car around here somewhere. Let's keep looking. Uh, Vayner, thank you for the 15 months of nothing but love, and I appreciate it.
Okay, nice. I'm gonna drink this right now. Yeah, because I was like, I know where there is a car guaranteed. That that will be our like worst case scenario plan. Like if we really cannot find a car or something, then we'll we'll go back and get that that one that we know where it is. Well, small backpack. Ours is bigger. We got enough space to be grabbing all these damn books though. We know where they are. Ooh, convenience store over here. Large backpack? Let me see how, how large this backpack is. Smaller than the one we got. Now, obviously, I could do, like, the multiple backpack carry method right now, but I'm not going to mess with that until I get, uh, get a vehicle. I was hoping we'd get some uh, better clothing or something out of these packs. A lot of book, a lot of backpacks, which is good for storing shit. Lots of backpacks. Right, let's keep it moving. That's a lot of zombies, dude. Uh, I don't know if that's a drivable vehicle. There definitely is some kind of vehicle in, in this garage. Nope, definitely not drivable. Another fuel barrel. So we find a car, we should have everything we need to get it moving. I got a repair kit. Uh, we got the fuel barrels. Now, I don't know if these fuel barrels have fuel in them. Let's 
go around this way. Like the wife just made. God damn, she hot. <laughs> she just made the the trace leches cake. Is there still more of that other one? I have to what, you don't want mine. No, I was wondering. You don't want my cake. So you're saying my cake sucks. So no, you're saying you I'm saying we're not. So we don't. You don't want my cake. No, I'm saying we're not going to be wasteful. I can't believe you just said that you didn't want my cake. That one ain't even ready yet. Wow. Yeah, this, yeah, that shit's so good, guys. So unhealthy, but it's so delicious. All right, so we're gonna cut it right here. We'll cut into the town. The roads are actually not that bad over here. Now, the drivable vehicles are easier to spot because they have, uh, you'll see, like, smoke coming off them. Uh, Cohen says, uh, I came to this channel, uh, from watching Mark, yo, Mark, Mark's the real deal. Uh, meet Megan Toy too and Fusto, you sir uh, have the best content and uh, fan interaction by a mile. Can't get enough of your daily streams. I, I I really appreciate that, man. That is some uh, that is some monster company, dude. Yeah, it's just not as sweet. Huh? I like it. Not no, I, same. Whoa, 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 hold on, hold on, why? Space to line up a shot. Fucking stamina here. Oh, 
jump, 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 jump. God damn it, guys. Dad. What? <laughs> I... <laughs> we just got, we got... They do have stamina regen stuff. I could have popped uh, an adrenaline, but... Yeah, I could have popped an adrenaline... And um we would have been we would have been fine. So we're back to this again, guys. Now we gotta try to get back. Get our gear because we definitely don't want to lose that. Damn, dude. It is what it is, though. It's all good. Where the hell did I die? I think it was right on this back road here. So we can hit this main road, kind of cut up, and then come back down instead of cutting through the middle there. We'll go up and around. Am I going to jump in and play Scum again? I'm probably going to play Scum again when it has its 1.0 re release. I, didn't they just drop like the 9.5 or something like that? Or 9.5 is releasing? I know there, there's been a lot of updates uh, to the game. I heard that one of the last ones, though, kind of has the game a little bit on the buggier side. So... But yeah, I'll probably try uh, Scum again on the 1.5, or the 1.0. And then uh, same thing with uh, with Zomboid. I plan on playing some more Project Zomboid. I'm just waiting for uh, Build 42. Still no luck on the car. Yeah, that's where I'm going, Matt, right now, Nasty. I'm trying to get back to where I died so I can get my gear back. So I had everything, my AK, everything on that, on our body. So we definitely don't want to lose that stuff. Hey, yeah, and Shrouded, I plan, on, I plan on checking that game out. Doesn't it come out like the 20-something, 21st, 24th?
Uh, I've been hearing a lot of good things. I haven't looked into the game at all. Like, I have no idea what it even is. Uh, but a lot of you guys have been bringing up in Shrouded. So, um, I never got, like, I don't even know if they ever did early access or anything for that game. I don't even know who made, I don't even know who the devs are. I probably could message them and, like, be like, hey, are you guys doing early access? But uh, I don't even know who they are. Zombies act different if you piss them off. A horde spawns. There's a new truck. There's a serious bug with the inventory that can be easily avoided, though. Okay, so we keep on moving through here. Oh uh, yeah, I plan on playing Dragon Dogma 2. That's why we're actually we restarted uh or we we continued our playthrough of Dragon Dogma 1 uh because I wanted to beat that, you know, in time for Dragon Dogma 2. Oh, uh, Wolf the uh the wifey made some uh what was the name of it? Philly cheesesteak. Yeah, it was like Philly cheesesteak pasta. It was, shit was so good. What kind of game is in Shrouded, guys? I'll take it, it's a survival game, right? Amber helper with steakums? Dude, I haven't had steakums in forever. We used to have steakums a lot back when I don't think you've ever bought them, right? What's wrong with steakums? Crystal don't like um steakums. Mm. I might have to fisty cuff. Oh, what the hell, dude? The core of the game is solid. No, yeah, I definitely, I definitely, uh, I'm gonna be playing Scum, but like I said, I was, I was thinking of just waiting for the 1.0, because the, the issue we have, um, if, if I was like a Scum content creator, you know what I mean, I would, I would thrive on updates, you know what I mean, like, because I did it with State of Decay, or every, every little incremental update that came out with the game, I would cover it, I'd play, you know, because that was my game, that was like, the content, I needed, I needed to milk it for every little, thing I could, you know what I mean, to, to keep people, you know, interested. Um, but because I'm not a scum content creator, I'm not that desperate for content when it comes to the game. So it's like, I'll play it when it's content complete because if, I'm not going to sit here and just every incremental update play a little bit. Like, that's why I stopped playing Sons of the Forest because I was like, I'm just going to wait for the full game to come out and we'll just play it all at once. Uh, that way we're not sitting here because I have so many games that I can play and want to play that, you know, there's no point in me sitting here, you know, nickel and diamond every single one of these games. Oh, is this drivable? No. Got my damn hopes up. I used to love steakums till I found out what they were made of. Wait, what are they made of? They made us their thinly sliced steak, dude. All right, where did we get murdered at?
shit, I don't remember where I died. I hopped over something, right? And got massacred. Okay, so we were fighting them over here, right? Yeah, because I had come up, like, around here somewhere. Damn, a zombie really won't leave me to fuck alone, dude. See what happens? See what happens? I think I ran down this way, right? I think we actually got hung up on that fence there. jumped over this then I ran this way I swear I died like right here nope oh, there it is I knew it was over here somewhere yeah, we're golden okay still no car Head down this road. Yo, those apartment buildings are deadly, dude. Just pour zombies out of them. Yeah, that vehicle back there was uh, not in. It, it, you couldn't drive it. That's a big ass supermarket, bro. Yeah, you can't fix that Jeep. Damn, this place is the real deal. Oh man, look how big it is, guys. Shit. Oh fuck. One of them juggernaut dudes here. It's like, yo, we could build the top of B6, man, to be set forever. There's so much. Did he get all the way over there? Oh, 
because there's more than one. Okay, yeah, we're, we're, we'll keep her moving around this way. Uh, the Division 2 DLC is worth buying. Uh, what were the Division 2 DLCs? I don't remember. The New York one, I think if you're talking about the New York one, though, that shit was fire, dude. I, I actually loved it. Uh, brings you back. The map isn't the same, like, big, big area of New York, but it still brings you back to the New York area. Um, summertime, it, it was pretty, yeah, Warlord New York is definitely, was definitely fire. Let's check the parking lot over here. So far, guys, no luck on cars, man. shoes yo dude shoes are the rarest rarest items in the game i mean we can't even find pants we found shorts so we got bandit camp farm mine shop and port Stats are looking good, food water wise. <sighs> Honestly, dying reset my stats pretty nice, like carbs wise and shit. Police station. Ooh. Try to go in there and get some ammo. I'll oh, stick to the mission. Car first. Car first. Yeah, I was, I was gonna start it today, guys, but um, with the backlog of games, um, like Ark and and this and GTA, I was I was getting kind of behind because we were starting firing up just some one one off like games we were checking out. Um, got a little backlog. So I was gonna start Pacific Drive today, but we won't have time, so I'm gonna save it for tomorrow. But that'll be one another game that we're gonna just kind of check out, see what you guys think. 
have no clue what it is. I just know that some of you guys were saying I needed to check it out. I don't know if it's a good game, but I have no clue what the hell it is. Uh, I, the devs hooked me up with a review copy. I messaged him and asked him, and uh, they were like, "Here, thank you." So, uh, but there was a bunch of people in chat over the past like week that have been asking me to check it out. I had no clue what it was. It's like this hard trying to find cars, guys. We're actually going to have to walk back all the way to that other car, dude. I guarantee it. played dead space yeah we played every single dead space on the channel actually even including the remake we got hands set Gotta get some more spears done up. Another gas station here. Your the vehicle spawns are non existent, dude. I think I see one. I think I see one. Maybe. That gray one right there. Yep, there it is. There it is, baby. All right. Um, let's see. So how does this work? Okay, car has been repaired. Yeah, so you just drop those in there, the big gas tanks. Boom, there's gas. Car's ready to go. Uh, we're gonna hit another gas station down the road here. And we're 
on our way, guys. There it is. Yeah, we're mobile now. We'll have to get another uh, ooh, big chunky dude. I'm going to come back and loot this place out. Uh... So we got our water, got our food. I don't know if he's on to me. Oh, nice. Except the glow Glock. There we go. See, as soon as you find a car, chat stuff just gets it just gets better. I got nine millimeter ammo right there. Definitely gonna need a bit more gas. hit up those tanks right that's yeah that's where I got my first bit of gas from this intersection super plugged up
processing off-road as well. That motel might be my next uh, spot I try to loot because we can get clothing from there. Yeah, the fuel indicator's behind me. Um, it's just a little blue bar. I got like three quarters of a tank. So off-roads well. Yeah, we're... The fuel consumption seems to be pretty decent. So I still don't know exactly what we do with that pathogen. I got these small fuel bottles that we can also put in our car. For gas, drop this in. Yeah, no more gas over here. Yeah, I think we might go poke around that. Let me reload this gun. I could hit the trader real quick, too. And, um, no, I bought the 9mm the trader had. Shit. Alright, let's go scope out that motel. Let's see if we can get some, some clothing. Uh, hopefully the area is not too swarmed. Stay to drive in the beach this year. That way I don't hit anything. Uh, yeah, I can repair the car more. It's only at 50% right now with the one tool kit. Well. It was at 50%. I haven't, no, I haven't read any books. I did just get a metallurgy book, though, that I could read. Because um, it was a level one. The, uh, the other books I got were too high of a level, so I couldn't read them. Damn, that just got away from me. Yeah, you can kind of place a bed down anywhere. Yeah, there's no restrictions on where you can place a bed from, at least from what I've seen. Kill this zombie real quick, and then I'm going to get these fuel cans. Up for this. Obviously, we're going to be looting for gas, too. So any, any cars we find... Get a little bit of gas out of because fuel is going to become an issue. I don't know if you can craft gas later on. Like, Runners on us. Okay, more than a couple. What the fuck?
Uh, Micah, again, thank you for the membership. I appreciate it. Seriously, thank you so much. I'm glad you enjoyed the content, man. That was uh, a bit more uh, than I thought it was going to be. That was for damn sure. Let's get another spear crafted up real quick. Some more sticks so we can craft up more spears. Not gonna lie, guys, the, the spears definitely goaded for sure. Cheap, easy to craft, and it's pretty damn effective. It was the same way in Zombie, though. The spear is just. It's so good. And, and, and just zombie lore in general, spears are just so effective because you get range. You know what I mean? Between you and the zombie. And you just poke it. Yeah. Boom. The sprinter's down to like 6%. And we still have so many sprinters. So I'll grab that. I already got one of those condensers. Parts, take it. Oh, nice lockpick. Now, I think this game does have seasons, too, guys. Um, remember in the little trailer thing, I, see, I think I seen snow. And in the in the settings, you get to pick, like, how long you want the year to be and stuff like that. I, I picked extra long years, so that means that we'll be in each season quite a bit longer. So uh, I don't know if you have to prep for winter. I don't know if you have, if you have to be dressed for winter. But all I know is winter is coming. Check that right, yeah. Another metallurgy book. Oh, there it is, guys. We got shoes, baby. We got shoes. Oh, if you guys didn't know, too, you can play this game in first person, also. I think in these confined areas, it's easier to see in first person. Oh, nice. We got uh, medicine for... If our belly... Ooh, metal bow blueprint. That That's a win. Okay, here we go. Got it. Fucking kidding me, dude. I was so excited.
I was so excited. Seeing a safe. I'm like, here we go. I mean, I, I, I'm glad we got some shoes, though. That, that's a win. Uh, we got this metal belt bl blueprint, but we got we to gotta get some crafting um, stuff done. We got to get, like, a furnace. We got to start smelting metal, mining, and things like that, because there is, like, legit resource gathering like that. Like, you go out, you can mine, get metals, smelt them down. Um, and then we're probably gonna have to start doing stuff like that for sure if we want to get some Some things like that metal bow done That is a lot of zombies over there. Holy shit, man Damn. Wait, is this that area I looted before? Yeah, so I already looted this house out Uh, my car is right here. Yeah, I parked it here out of the way. That way I don't have to worry about uh, getting damaged or anything like that. I don't know if the, dom the zombies can like hurt it by hitting it or whatnot. Um, so I just kept it way out of the way. Yeah, there was a huge, huge group of zombies over that way. We're definitely not going there. <laughs> definitely not going there. What's the overall premises uh, of this one? If you die, you lose everything. Um, so, no, it's like, I mean, you can make it permadeath. Um, I did not turn permadeath on in my settings, but you could, you could make it permadeath if you wanted to. But, um, I mean, if you die, you have to go back to where you died and you can pick your gear up. You want to see the horde? I'll show you. But, yeah, if you want to play permadeath, you can. Um, it is a setting. I turned it off, though. I was like, no, nah, I'm good. Might have dispersed a little bit. Yeah, they, de they definitely spread out a bit, but there's still quite a few over there. I'm hoping the motel's not like that. Because we're going to be heading over here right now to see if we can get some gear. Okay, so it's already it's three right there. Dog. Would like to hit these cars up, see if we can get some more gas. Only thing I'm worried about is setting off the alarm. Ooh, big guy. Okay, so we're not gonna mess with the cars right now. Let's loot some of these rooms out. I don't know which ones are. Okay, so the ones with the doors open, you can go in. The other ones are closed. Obviously. All right, let me eat and drink real quick. Got some military boots. Bitch. Take off the sneaks, throw on the boots. Yeah, we're styling and profiling chat. Got on a t shirt. We got a t shirt here. Oh. oh, damn, my knife's in my car. All right, we'll hold on to that real quick. We'll probably cut that up into. Usable resource. Kanji, thank you so much for the huge super chat. Um, chat, nice to see you playing this. Um, how is this game compared to State of Decay 2? Watching you, I feel the combat is fun, looting as well, but what about the environment? Um, I feel like a scary pharaoh. So this game definitely has, um, it's, 
it's zombies that are way, way, way bad. It even has almost like a, a feral type zombie too. Um, yeah, it's quite, quite sketch. Uh, has a juggernaut type zombie. It has all the freaks, uh, just like stated, okay? Um, it's obviously not as polished as a game like State of Decay. You know, there's, there's jank. Um, the combat's a bit stiffer than a game like State of Decay, but it's still fun in its own right. You know what I mean? It's definitely, it's definitely a good time. Uh, farm breeding and farming. I'm gonna get some art going here. Okay, big guy's over there, so we don't have to worry about him. Uh, five, five, six ammo. Engineering volume one. Completed or insufficient learning level. What? It, what? Some leather shoes. More shoes. So now we're getting all the clothes, dude. I still need pants, though. I need pants. Got an energy bar. And uh, their zombie detection is a little finicky, as you can see there. Like, I don't know how to... I mean, it might have seen me through the window or some shit, but... Some more 762. Tailoring. Yeah, see, now we're finding all the clothes, guys. All the clothes. Uh, mechanics one definitely read that belly meds oh we got we got pants We got actual pants, dude. I don't know if I need all these shoes. I mean, I, I'll keep this stuff just to dismantle it. We'll probably better cut it up for fabric and shit. So let's go make a run to the car. Do a dump and then we'll come back up and hit a couple more rooms. I know you guys, you guys were begging me for pants the whole time, and I finally got some. So no need to fret, no need to worry. Okay, 
Yeah, trunks all nice and full, and I still have a full backpack, guys, that we can go. Yo, cars are just the meta, chat. It's the meta. Now, guys, tomorrow we're going to have, uh, I'm going to be having the internet dude at my house in the morning. I don't know how many hours it's going to take him, so I don't know when I'm going to be starting stream. But if it gets a little out of hand on when I'm going to start stream, I'm going to release a State of Decay uh, Lethal Zone Guide episode. Are we in this one? No. And then uh, I'll go from there. I'll kind of assess... How everything's happening. Another set of mill boots. Ooh, we got gloves. Another shoulder light. As you guys know, the trader loves those damn things. Aid kit, sun visor. Yeah, our jacket is starting to get a little beat up. The one that we're wearing here. We've been taking a lot of damage and stuff. I think I found a sewing or repair kit for clothes. Uh, I don't know if it's back at my base. Now, I personally, I turned off loot respawn, so... All of these spots that we're hitting, it's a one-time deal, Chet. We're going to have to, if we loot out this city, which I feel like it would be a while before we loot out this whole city. There's so many buildings and shit like that that we can search. Um, but, yeah, if, if we do, you know, we're going to have to keep pushing to other cities. And we're going to have to start learning to manufacture our own gear. We'll take both these backpacks, actually. Oh, you can't put a backpack in a backpack. Okay. At all. Probably help for the car trunk, though. Shorts are fire. Got some cam cami shorts. Put this bad boy down. Got a big military backpack here. I think it's the same size as the one I currently have, though. It's actually. It's a big backpack. As long as we don't aggro big dude down there, we'll be okay. Some more gloves. Okay, we're good. Yeah, if you guys don't know, those big guys are just as dangerous as any juggernaut. Like, they are the real deal. I tried to fight one um, initially when we first started playing. I shot it with a lot of bullets. Um, and, yeah, it, it just it didn't care. 
And it does a crazy amount of damage if it, if it gets its hands on you. So I'm grabbing all these shoes and extra clothes because if I can, I'll rip them. I'll, I'll dismantle them for resources. Maybe we get some leather, some uh, shit like that. We'll see if it actually paths its way all the way up to me. Can you play this with a controller? So I did not see controllers in the settings at all. Uh, oh, nice. So we just got a good bit of 9mm. He actually made his way up. Yep. Was that zombie so tanky? Oh, those are nice, dude. Pants we could break up. All right, we should be good. I am. Kind of playing with fire right here, but. Seems like he's not all that interested in me up here. Uh, yeah, there is. Uh, you can play this game um, online. Yeah, we're just playing a single per single player. Uh, ooh, breeding and farming volume one. Uh, we got another coat. We'll take that. Take the. Wool cap. Let me see. Do these have like cold? So they do have cold resistance. So I honestly, yeah. So when winter time comes, guys, I guarantee that you're gonna have to you're gonna have to keep yourself warm. Where'd the big boy go? <laughs> Pants.
Okay, I'm just trying to make a little bit more space. Yeah, this is going to be our biggest loot run yet. Pull, we pulled, we got a lot of, pulled a lot of resources. I was actually surprised on how much food we were able to get, too. From this motel. Alright, let's do this. I'm starting to get thirsty, and, uh... Really, really tired. So we'll put that in there. So we're gonna miss out on those clothes, but it's not. <laughs> Gotta change out my battery on my flashlight. Paul, thank you so much for the gifted brother. I appreciate you, man. my batteries. Oh, here they are. Oh, I think I, yeah, I gotta do it from the, uh, from the inventory. Oh, Tommy did not want to die, dude. Thank you so much for the huge super chat. Um, thank you so much. Uh, evening, Brian. Do you know if this game has uh, multi-story buildings you can enter and loot? Um, always thought looting a high-rise. So there are high-rises. I don't know how high you can go in them, though, yet. Um, there, those were the buildings uh, when I was in the city up there. There's a couple of really big apartment buildings that zombies were pouring out of. But I have not got inside one yet to, uh, to really see how far up you can go somebody in chat might be able to answer that but uh i there are multiple multi-story buildings for sure I, i've been on second and third floors already and like the police stations and stuff like that the hospital looked like probably four or five floors for sure uh I, the yeah there's definitely mo uh, high rises dude uh, the supermarket that had like four or five floors to it also i just drove past my base my base is so good. It's a good camouflage shot.
Ah, uh, well, Amber, welcome. I appreciate you stepping out of the shadows of chat and, and, uh, and chatting with us. I hope you're having a great day today. And Wolf, thank you. Thank you for the five gifted, brother. Out here blessing the community, man. Uh, Sakari, thank you. Thank you for the super chat. You'll have plenty of room uh, if you transfer everything multiple via multiple backpacks and storm the car. Yeah, that's what I plan on uh, trying to get set up. Now that we know there's a ton of backpacks over there, we're going to definitely do some backpack voodoo. All right, let's see what we're working with here, guys. We got, we got a good bit of food. Good bit of food here. I'm going to need more storage. Definitely gonna need some more storage. I'm not even gonna fit everything we just looted. I'm just trying to get a, a good handle on my food water situation. That's the main things I wanna get organized first. Let's catch a nap real quick. Uh, we need a drink though. I'm going to get a roof. Yeah, we're going to have a roof. This is about to go bad. This whole fucking plate of food. I had to eat that before it went bad. So all your fresh stuff, you want to make sure that you're eating that ASAP. Because, yeah, it goes bad and then it's just a straight loss. grab any more food out of here yeah. we did quite well guys I gotta I gotta be honest we did quite well food wise and I, that wasn't even our goal that was not even our goal going out there it is dude Who raided? I wish I wish you two would like tell me that notification a little bit better. Damn. So we, we completely filled that out, guys. There it is. We're gonna need we're gonna need more storage for sure. Throw our excess in here for right now. I don't even have enough storage in there. We'll have to leave it in the trunk until I get some more storage done up. Yeah, we're, 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 we were hurting on food and, and drinks for a bit there. Um, but now, yeah, it's not. It's a non-factor now, guys. Now, granted, food doesn't respawn. So, obviously, it's something we still have to always take into consideration. Um, you know, but... I don't feel as pressured. Water, though, might still be kind of an issue. Because we're going to blow through this water quick. So let's check our technologies right now. Um, I want to check my technologies right now and see what it's going to take to do, like, actual water stuff. Okay. Technology. Um, here we go. So rain collector here. 
So we need three planks for this and then nine sticks for that. So let's grab some planks. Let's go grab some sticks. Check in here real quick. Nope, we got logs in there. I got a stick here. Right, let's go grab some sticks. We're gonna have to craft a new uh new hatchet here. Casa with the raid again, brother. Thank you so much, man. Casa always showing so much love. I hope you had a good day today, dude. All right, let's go ahead, craft up a new axe. Can you break logs in a stick? I don't, I don't know if you can break logs in a stick. Not that I know of. Not that I've seen, at least. Uh, but also, I haven't really tried. I know you can cut down like these trees, and you just get a bunch of sticks. Yeah, if sticks are on the ground, pretty easy to find. So that should be enough to do the technologies that we need right now. All right, let's see here. So we'll go ahead. We're going to do this uh, wooden box frame. Boom. Now, this will allow us to stack sh uh, chests, I believe, which is going to be nice because we're going to have... And then we're going to get the rain collector here. Now, like I said, I don't know if the rain collector, per se, is fresh water. Um, if it's not fresh water, then it doesn't really matter for me because I live right next to water. But say uh, you built your base, you know, in the middle of this area up here, and you don't have access to go down and get water. Like, yeah, that shit would suck, and you're going to probably need rain collectors. So, But if the rain collectors are also clean water... That shit is, that's where it's at. But I highly doubt it. I've never, uh, most games that do rainwater, they still consider it dirty. There we go. So we could do this out here. Like that. That's going to need fabric, parts, and sticks. Easy enough. And then, um, wooden box frame. So we'll start off with that. Now, what are these gonna take to build? Five planks, two parts, okay. Now I know I went ahead and I got myself a fair bit of parts. Six there, five there. Let me dump the sticks into this and the parts. Oh, we also need fabric, right? Yep, got fabric there. Boom. Okay, so that's, that's going to do its thing. Oh, do I got to put something in there to collect water? Let's 
Some kind of container. Got one of these big ass bottles empty. Let me see if you need to put a container in there. Oh no, so it fills up to 50 liters and then, yeah, then you just collect it. The rainwater has to boil also. So yeah, if that's the case, then that, that's, that, that's going to do nothing for us guys at all. Let's grab this. Because of our base location. Okay, so we need four more planks. So we'll do those. I got enough parts to build more chests. Now the thing is you can't relocate chests. Once you put them down, you can't like move them. Uh, Cause if so, that sucks. So that means I'm gonna have to dismantle the chests we have. Do I have any more parts? No. When you break them, you get all the parts. Oh, so you do get all your resources back? Okay, so that then now that, that that that's good then. I can do that. Okay, so that's done. Now we'll go ahead and build a few chests on here. Okay, so yeah, you could do three on this. Boom, boom, boom. Yo, how the hell do you reach the one on the top, though? That's pretty tall, man. <laughs> This is coming together nice, Jet. Now we get, now we got to figure out a roof. We, we got to figure out a roof. All right. So while that other planks are going, uh, let me actually get. Oop, definitely don't want that. It's supposed to be planks. Nine. Go. Now we'll start moving uh, stuff over. Okay, so yeah, we, I could reach it from here. I'm out of parts, though. So we'll start our food chests over here. We'll keep that on there. Now these little coffee things, like, they're okay. I'm not gonna... We'll store those right here for right now until I... Get this all... Organized. Because they don't really feed you all that much. They're good for fatigue recovery, but when it actually comes to, like, sustenance, they're not that great.
So I feel like I should do water in its own chest. Like, we'll have all our food in one chest, because as you guys can see how much space the food requires. Um, but yeah, I think we should do food in one chest, and then we'll do uh, water in its own Okay, so we got all that set. Um, food and drink for right now. Yeah, we're, we're, we're doing all right on the canned stuff. The canned stuff is, is, is what we're going to have to use for like... Because if the canned stuff doesn't go bad. But cooking pot, guys. Let me, I'm going to check the... Uh, let me move this. Okay, so get the hammer out. Um, hold to demolish. Okay. So we got, yep, then we got all the resources back. Come over here, boom. Demolish that. Finish that one there. Okay, so then we got one chest there. So I gotta figure out how the hell I wanna organize these. Um, we got food and water. I think I'm gonna need a, like another food chest at some point. Just due to how and this stuff we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna dismantle. Requires a knife, dude. I got a knife, don't I? There we go. Uh, okay, so we got cotton from that. We got bunch of fabric. Holy crap, dude! So I don't want to get rid of all of my pants, though. The tr other, all these trousers and shit. I don't want to get rid of all of them. So we'll put like clothing. Um. No, we could we can get rid of these. I'll probably sell some of this stuff, too. Uh, yeah, these sun hats and shit we could dismantle. Ooh, don't do that. Don't fucking do that, dude. So the one thing you gotta be careful of is running into your car. <laughs> it's no joke. Alright, so we're gonna leave all this, uh, these boots in, in here. I'm gonna, I got an extra pair of mill boots. Uh, so we're going to sell those. All this crap here we'll sell. I'm going to keep this. I'm going to sell this. 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 Keep, 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 keep. Electric furnace. Park a parallel to the short genius. Yeah. That way if I do hit it, it doesn't go into the fucking drink. Yeah, like that. So I'm not going to keep both of those. Um, In this chest, we're going to do, like, resources. So crafting resources... Stick in here. Cotton. Um, parts like that. 
this we're gonna shred. Now, one of these plant fibers, you get to turn them into anything later on because I haven't really been able to do much with them yet other than uh, the bow, but I, I was wondering if you could turn them into fabric. Do this, this. All the extra clothes stuff that we're gonna throw in here. We're gonna shred a lot of it uh, for parts. And then this random chest right here. Yeah, we'll leave, we're gonna sell these. Uh, this will be the one I use for miscellaneous, or this one, I'll, I'll, I'll store the books and shit in here. Okay, um... So I'm gonna keep a pair of military boots uh, for extra clothing, just in case something happens to ours. I wanna make sure we have extra shoes and shit. Um, be crafting, and this will do medical and ammo for now. Keep our nine millimeter, but yeah, the rest of this. So that's what we got right now for bullets, guys. I got 14 rounds of nine mil plus my my uh, mag. Then we got a little bit of five five six, a little bit of forty four, a little bit of seven six two, and a little like yeah. So we're we're really not, you know, swimming in ammo by any means, but we got a little bit. No clue what the hell this is even for. Okay, so we'll sell that. Uh, car battery. We'll keep, we'll keep in the car. I think uh, I'll take it. The car battery is probably used to craft um, repair kits, isn't it? If I were to take a guess, that, that's what I would guess, that the, the car batteries are used for repair kits. Got our fishing pole here. So many of these damn tool toolboxes. Okay, so we got this blueprint there. I'm gonna sell that condenser. the trader even has uh enough resource like has stuff that we want to even trade for i mean granted we could make we could never it's, uh, i guess we could just drive around to multiple traders it's yeah it's really not a big deal drive around to multiple traders 
See what they all have. Try to find a gun trader, get some freaking ammo from them and shit. It'd be clutch. Okay, so we got that all put up. So for the most part, we're we're pretty organized, guys. We're we're getting there. We've got tons of planks done up. Oh, we just need more spare parts, and we'll be able to get ourselves uh, another chest rack and a few more chests. Super, super tired. Okay, so a lot of these shorts I'm going to cut up. So this, this backpack here we're going to use to store stuff in. Um, we're going to probably get a bunch of backpacks. That way, that's how we're going to do our storage in our car. Um, this is all going to get sold. These are going to get sold. These are all going to get shredded or worn for wintertime. So, like, the beanie will keep for winter. Um, and I think the rest of these we're just going to shred into fabric. Another first aid here we can drop. Drop this down here. Ah, uh, we're organized, guys. Ish. Not, obviously, it could, it could always be better, but we're organized ish. Feels good. Uh, let me look at the technologies here now that we got this all squared away. Um, a pot. Let me see if we can do our. Can, so, can you craft a metal pot? Or do you got to loot one? Here it is. Yeah, pot. So, we need iron, iron ingot. To start working on that. Iron ingot to start working on simple parts. Canteen. Um, electrical wire. Really nice tools. Bows. Traps. Grenades. Down here things get real sophisticated. Thermal generators. Electricity. Canning machine. Well. Lights. Tools. Bullets, those are real far down though. Batteries, oh yep, yeah, so you can craft fuel. Uh, once we get an advanced chemical lab going, we'll be able to craft our own fuel. Oil well core, so you can drill for oil. Electric furnace, uh, more traps and stuff. Because, I, uh, oh shit. Guys, I forgot about that. On day 10, we're going to get attacked. Our base. Shit. How many days have passed? Oh, you can change the settings, guys. You could change your server settings right in there. Uh, I don't know how many days have passed. Well, we, we're going to learn today, dude. <laughs> we're going to find out. Uh, we, we, we're going to have to start working on just some like basic uh, base stuff. So not all these are full. Some of these are actually empty, right? And some of them are dirty water. Let me actually sort through. So this is dirty, empty, empty. So 
see. I actually don't have as much water as I thought. Okay, so those are good. Yep, that's empty. Okay, so that's what we're actually working with. These two are dirty. Um, these are all empty. Tab, top corner string. Oh, up here. Okay, day five. So we got five days. We're good. Woo. We're golden, baby. We're golden. We're still in spring. Okay, I see that. I didn't even pay attention to the top. You gotta remember, guys, I have a I have a very, very big monitor. So for me to look up in that corner, I have to like go like this. And I have to look up in that corner. I was so focused on this, I don't I don't even pay attention to any of that. So yeah, now it, we got to work on a forge. Oh, uh, let's see. This. So we need clay. Grab four hours. So we're going to head up to the trader. Uh, I also need to make sure I grab my... Pickaxe. So I think to get clay, we need to, we need to use the pickaxe. Voila. Let's make it happen. I think my vendors restock their inventory every five days. Oh, yep, there's clay right there. The fuck? Oh, shit, dude. Come on. Stop it. Yeah, I think this is all clay here. Got too close to freaking Yogi. Okay, we got a fair bit. I feel like we're gonna need a lot of clay, so I'll grab I'll grab a few loads of it. Just because I'm not exactly sure how much of it we're going to need. So we'll do that. Clay bricks. We're going to need more clay. Oh, we need metallurgy level one. I, I got the book for metallurgy. So we'll be able to do that. Ooh, what is this? I don't, this might be the silver ore, not the iron. Yeah, that's the silver. Ooh, that, well, that's all. That's all we're mining today. That's all we're mining. I'm 
Okay, so let's see what the hell this trader has. We'll see if he'll take all this crap. Whoops. Yeah, that's about all. That's all I wanted to sell. The rest of this crap is ours. Can I empty this? Yep. How you doing, brother? All right, let's see. Uh, I could trade him for a kill reward, but I already got the AK and the gun, the handgun, so it'd be a waste. I'll save those up for something better in the future. <clears throat> okay, so no repair kit this time. Uh, we, it does have some 9mm we could grab, and 7.62 we could grab. So let's try to get that off him. Want these shoes, bro? And this condenser? Oh, yeah, he likes that condenser. And that. And we'll throw in a flashlight. Bro, why don't you want the flashlight, dude? What about another pair of shoes? Come on, bro. Why are you fucking with me, dude? What about these leather boots? I hate you. Come on, dude. This is a good trade, man. Why, why giving him more sh- why, why- Oh my god, dude. What about some clay, bro? You want some clay? Fuck you, then. Oh, I got the cigarette, bro. There we go. Throw something else in there. What about this first aid kit? No? Okay, of course not. Um, what about this can of food? Okay. What about this can of food? Okay. That's a that's a good trade. Alright, we'll take that. Uh we got some more bullets. Um let's see what else you got. Uh you know what? Let's go check the other trader. The uh this one down here. Play more Borderlands? I mean, yeah, I have I have the intent to play more Borderlands in the future. Um, the issue with it, it just it wasn't viewing very well. Like, you know, the interest in Borderlands on my specific YouTube channel just was not very great. Um, for whatever the reason was, um, people just weren't all that interested. So I, uh, I, I did try to do some videos for it to try to keep it going but i also i got super super consumed with life so i kind of fell off on that a little bit but at some point we'll definitely have some more borderlands because i, I want to play three really bad all right let's head down to this other trader Off-road's pretty damn good. I'm trying to take my... T it does seem like it takes a little bit of damage, though, as you're driving it. Off-road? I don't know if it just takes damage passively as you drive the car, like, just kind of wears down over time. Or if it's because I'm, like, off-road.
gargantuan fucking wolves, dude. What? Lady, you better be worth it. You fucking kidding me? Literally came down here, traded her shit for antibiotics to cure the infection that I got from coming down here to trade with her. How many bullets do we have left? Damn, am I still bleeding? I am. Come on, go, go, go. Oh, oh, bitch, really? Really? Come on. Come on. Broke, guys. It's broken.
Yeah, I probably could grab a couple of the pieces. I mean, it doesn't even matter because I got a fucking... We're going to have to go hit another merchant anyways to get the car up and running. That's got to be my priority. We got to get the car fixed, chat. It is what it is. Yeah, we're not. We're going to have to get the car up and running. It is what it is. I don't know if I should just head to another merchant. You know, there's two over here on the other, right on the other side of the river. Those are relatively close by. We can hit this one and try to get a repair kit. I think that's what we should probably do, honestly. Instead of going all the way back to base. The only problem is I didn't bring any freaking water with me, man. So now we'll head back to base. We'll gear up. Uh, we'll grab our AK. We'll. we'll We'll gear up for real, for real, and then we're gonna push out um, and hit these merchants here and try to try to see if we can get a repair kit or two. I also got to see if there's any other gear that I could grab to sell, and we'll go from there. Man, fucking can't believe it! Like literally, we, we we just ruined our car to come over here to a trader that was butt, straight up butt, uh, and. I traded away all my stuff for antibiotics, got infected. I wasted freaking a whole magazine of bullets and my car got destroyed. Like not even worth it, dude. Really gained nothing from coming over here. It was the worst, the absolute garbage, dude. I'm so, I'm so upset. It is what it is though. It is what it is. Just created, created more work for us, but we'll, we'll work on the next episode, guys. We're going to go back. We'll head back to base. We'll get all of our stuff squared away. Inventory cleared up. And then we'll head out, try to get some repair kits. We got to scrounge some stuff together, even stuff that I'm I might not want to trade, uh, to trade because we're gonna we're gonna have to get those repair kits. Uh, but thank you guys, I appreciate the love, I appreciate the support. I hope you guys are enjoying this. I had a ton of fun tomorrow. Uh, like I said, we'll be playing at Pacific Drive, and I'm probably gonna be playing some Ark, and. Uh, it, depending on the t depending on the internet guy, how long he's here, how fast it goes, or whatnot. Because my internet passed what all day today seemed to be okay, uh, so I don't know what the hell he'll say when he shows up. So um, when he gets here, depending on how long that takes, I might release a guide video for State of Decay Two tomorrow. Um, I didn't want to; I was gonna wait another day or two to release it. But if if he's gonna be a while, then yeah, I'm gonna definitely get that out for you guys. But. All right, guys, but thank you again. I appreciate the love support. Remember, if you want more of this, smash that like button. It's the best way to let me know that you guys are enjoying it. Uh, if you guys are new to the channel, consider subscribing. And, uh, yeah, leave a comment down below because you guys know the comments really, really do help out, especially with the algorithm. Um, even if you're just saying hi, it, it really does help out. But leave a comment. Let me know what you guys thought about the game and this episode. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.